Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking me if I am going to be filming a semi-annual sale Bath & Body Works guide because I do one every sale for the most part for the past few years. So I decided to go ahead and do one today. Although honestly this is probably one of the least exciting semi-annual sales of all time. At least from what I've seen from different sneak peeks I've seen. There's just not a lot of information to give, but if you guys are new here or you're just not familiar with the semi-annual sale and how to get the best deals, how it all works, I still wanted to do a fun guide video so you can kind of know how to shop and get the best out of the sale because it is such a fun time. So Bath & Body Works does a big semi-annual sale twice a year. They always do one the day after Christmas. So December 26th, uh, they're going to mark down all of their seasonal items and run a huge sale that's going to last for a few weeks. They also do one for summertime, end of summer. Uh, that one's usually around June. So I don't know. I feel like the summer one's always a little bit more exciting than the holiday one, but you can definitely get some really good deals at the sale. And this is always like the time to stock up. Some people only shop the sale and that's it. And you get a lot for your money, that's for sure. Now Bath & Byers does run a lot of sales throughout the year, but what makes this one special is that you see a lot of 75% off prices, which is not very common throughout the year. Uh, you're going to see maybe even 75% off candles, 75% off body care and if you guys had favorite scents throughout the year that were limited edition you're going to want to stock up on those because a lot of scents from them they discontinue they're seasonal you only see them around the fall time or the holiday time or never again you never know so this is the time if you had a favorite scent this year you're going to want to stock up because a lot of it is going to go on sale um, pretty much everything except their core line like let's say Japanese cherry blossom warm vanilla sugar those are their core fragrances those don't go anywhere and they're not going to be a part of the sale but this is for the seasonal releases especially this holiday sale is going to be on the fall stuff if they have any left because I know that stuff did sell down pretty quickly there might be some leftovers from fall and all of the Christmas collections are going to be marked down here and it does include everything from candles to body care hand sanitizers even like candle accessories it includes most things throughout the store, even soaps as well, but a lot of stuff will have set price points during this sale. Now, since this is like a three week long sale, you don't have to go right away and shop. I know a lot of people are busy the day after Christmas with family stuff or, or you're out of town. If you have family in town, you don't want to like go to the store, you know? Uh, this will be online, of course, as well, assuming that it's also going to start on the 26th. I haven't seen if they're going to be starting it early, but I'm assuming the sale online is going to be on the 26th as well and they usually load the site up around 5 a.m. so 5 a.m. CST is when you kind of want to check maybe set an alarm if you really want to get on the website. I personally prefer shopping in store because I find that you actually get the best deals. Sometimes the prices in store are a little cheaper than online. It can just vary just a little bit but for the most part it's pretty true but you're never going to find 75% off candles online on the first day usually. Sometimes later throughout the sale they'll get marked down more but we can talk about that in a bit but um, mostly I like to shop in store because a I don't have to pay for shipping and usually Bath & Body Works has like a buy online pick up in store but it's shut off on the first day of the sale so you can't do that the first day but the other days after it will be turned back on so if you're like I can't get to the store uh, you can just order online a little later and pick it up in store I think you have three days or something to pick it up if you can't get there the first day and then you don't have to pay for the shipping now me personally I really only like to shop the 75% off or any new collections. Sometimes Bath & Body Works will bring out new stuff for the sale like a few new scents or some like old favorites back for the sale um, and I will like to pick those up because I love to try all the new things. I review almost every Bath & Body Works scent um, and this year has been a little lackluster scent wise for me. I don't know about you guys, you have to let me know. I love like dessert like gourmand scents, which Bath and Body Works used to be known for having such good gourmands. But the past year, I feel like they've been shifting more 
towards the fruity fresh scents and I don't know I'm just not as excited as I used to be about their scents and I really hope that's not what's like the future to come. Uh, we're also going to be talking spring sneak peeks in this video so I'm going to share with you some things that are coming for January as well and it looks like they're still kind of doing the fruity fresh thing. I don't think I'm seeing a ton of gourmand scents, but we'll have to talk about it. Let me know if you guys are really loving the new lineup that Bath & Body Works has done this year, if you're not really a fan. I feel like I'm not a fan, so that's also making this semi-annual sale a kind of lackluster for me, because there's nothing I'm really like that into that I feel like I need backups of. And this is usually the sale I'll buy my backups for the year. So I don't know, I'm just kind of not excited. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are the same way. But um, it is fun to look for 75% off stuff. And you can usually find that in body care and especially the candles. If you're looking for 75% off candles, you're gonna be wanting to go on the very first day of the sale because they will sell out immediately and they don't like restock those. So you have to be one of the first people in the stores because some stores will only have a few, some stores have a lot of them, um, but you wanna be one of the first ones if that's what you are really going for. You can usually find quite a bit and especially if you know what you're looking for because some of them aren't even marked on like a table and you kinda just have to find them. So what you should be on the lookout for is anything that looks like a spring or summer candle. Now, I know they released some for Candle Day, so you kind of have to be careful with those because those aren't going to count. But if you remember some of the spring and summer launches of this year, those should be 75% off. If you find any like really old ones, sometimes they have some from even last year, but that is very rare. Those are going to ring up like $6.75 or something like that. So it's really inexpensive, but you just have to kind of know what to look for. Uh, the fall candles of this year and any holiday candles those are most likely going to be at $10.95 the first couple days of the sale. I know they run that $10.95 for only like the first couple days and then they bring the price to 50% off. It kind of flip-flops around throughout the sale. You're, you're going to notice there's going to be price changes. So I always like to shop the first day of the sale, but then I will come back every week and see kind of what the price changes are because every week they like mark down another collection to 75% off, especially with body care and occasionally with candles. Sometimes after a couple weeks, they might add even more 75% off candles, like some of the fall ones and a couple winter ones as well. So you just kind of have to be checking the website, see what's going on following your favorite Bath & Body Works pages. I usually upload a video every week during semi annual sale season just kind of going over what's in store and what the prices are. For body care prices, we are going to see some 75% off. I know the last couple sales, I feel like that's been a very small amount, but if they have anything left over from the spring, the fall is usually 75% off, like let's say pumpkin pecan waffles, together weather, some of those, if you see those, those should be 75% off or something like $3.95, which is basically 75% off, but sometimes they do different price points, but anything from fall is probably gonna be that price point, but Again, a lot of that stuff has sold out, so they're not gonna have a ton of it, um, unless your store just didn't sell a lot of it during the season. Also, you may find some spring and summer stuff as well from earlier this year. If it didn't sell out during the first semi annual sale in the summer, you might even find some of those, and those will definitely be 75% off as well. And then usually the Holiday Traditions collection, like Vanilla Bean Noel, Winter Candy Apple, Twisted Peppermint. Usually that is around 75% off or $3.95. I think that's what it was last year. But that collection, since it always comes out and it's super Christmassy, they usually mark that one down pretty steep. So if you want to stock up on those classics, this is going to be the best price point. Now, it's hard to say if any of the other Christmas collections are going to be 75% off. That's just going to be something we're gonna have to find out when we get in store because I haven't seen anything about it but it very well could be 50% off like some of the other collections like Strawberry Snowflakes Fairy Tale. We really don't know what that's gonna be until we get in store. Maybe they have a lot of excess and they want to sell it all so maybe it will be 75% off, you never know. But you can definitely expect to see 50% off tables and 75% off tables. I do try to avoid shopping the 50% off tables just because I know those will get marked down later throughout the sale. Like if you wait a week or two, those 50% off might get marked down to 75% off until everything is gone. 
on. But I always say if there is a scent that is your absolute favorite, just go ahead and grab it at the 50% because you don't want to like take a chance and then it's gone. If you're going to be sad about missing out on it, just go ahead and get it with 50% off. I know sometimes they offer price adjustments in 14 days. I don't know if that's still something that they do. You guys can let me know down below, but I know they have offered that. I just know that they're very picky about it during certain sales, but sometimes I've had a whole price adjustment when some of my 50% of items actually went down lower throughout the sale if it was in that 14 day window. Now they do have sales on some of the other stuff like wallflowers. I never thought that those were a good deal. I think sometimes they do 50% off or a set price point. They have soaps as well. I think they did half off last year. Sometimes they do $3. It just kind of depends. Soap and the wallflowers are just not the biggest deal or the best deal to get. I did see they're going to have candle accessories as well like the candle holders. This is always a great time to buy those. Those would vary in price from 50 to 75% off. I have my eye on the deer candle holder. I'll have to insert a photo because I saw that my store had some last month. I don't know if they'll still have it, but I really would like to pick that one up at a discount. I haven't bought any candle accessories this year, so if they have some cute ones on discount, I'm definitely going to look at them because usually they're like... They can range from $40 to almost $80, so it's awesome to get a discount on them, um, especially if you find any Halloween ones. Those should be 75% off, as well as Halloween candles and Halloween body care should also be 75% off. So hopefully that was helpful. I know I don't have like specifics, but that's just in general what to expect from the semi-annual sale. Now, I have been looking on Tess's blog, Life Inside the Page. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. She always has the 411 scoop on Bath and Body Works. There just hasn't been many sneak peeks for semi annual sale, but I do want to share kind of some of the stuff that she has put on here. But they do have some new soaps coming out for the sale or some like repackaged ones. They always bring out some spring and summer soaps like Paradise Coconut, Cucumber Melon, Limoncello. This one I'm really excited about. It's called Cotton Candy Grape. And I need to smell this one. This one I'm kind of excited to try and see if I like it. And then they also have Seaside Kisses. Also in the cleansing gel soap, they're going to have Honolulu Sun Limoncello, Raspberry Tangerine, which is a scent we used to have in body care. I haven't seen that one in a while. And then Cucumber Verbena. Those are probably going to be half off during the sale. Now they are bringing back some body care for the sale as well. Now I'm kind of confused about this because usually they bring back like five cents. They always bring back like Cucumber cucumber melon uh what else have they had they did i think pearberry they just always bring back a couple things they usually have like five cents that are retired that come back for the sale but they've only announced two so far so i'm kind of confused about this but they are bringing back this y2k collection as they call it and they're gonna have forever sunshine which I totally remember this scent. This was like my prime really getting into Bath and Body Works. I just started my YouTube channel 2011. This scent was out and I totally kind of like remember it in the back of my head, but I can't quite place of what this smells like. I feel like it had like a really kind of florally, almost powdered, but sweet kind of scent. And I feel like I liked it. I don't know if it was a love though, but I'm excited to smell it. I don't know if it's something I would go ahead and pick up though. Like I'm not super excited about it, but I am glad that they're kind of listening to the fans as to what they want to see back because this scent hasn't been back in like 10 years. So that's kind of crazy. They're also bringing back Endless Weekend, which we've seen this one back here and there. It's a pretty scent. It's nice, fruity, fresh, very nice for every day nothing I'm like overly excited about but I know it has its fans. They're also bringing back this collection for the sale which I thought was weird. So this is their Celestial collection. This one came out, was it last Body Care Day? I think it was last year's Body Care Day and honestly I didn't think this did that good. So I'm just kind of shocked that they're bringing it back for the sale. I don't know if they had excess in the warehouse or what the deal is, but they're bringing back Prismatic Stars, Sapphire Moon, and Golden Eclipse. Uh, I guess Life of the Party didn't make the cut, even though I feel like that one was my favorite out of the collection. I guess that one had different packaging though, so I guess it's not really the Celestial one. Again, none of those scents were really like favorites for me last year. I actually decluttered them out of my collection. They were nothing special to me. That's probably just because I prefer more of the dessert-like gourmand fragrances. They're also bringing back for the sale. This came out for, I think, this fall season. We have 
denim and daisies which i know so many people love denim and daisies to me it's really kind of powdery very like skin musk i don't know it's not my vibe white jasmine and then they also have sun washed citrus so we just saw those in the fall so i'm really surprised they're bringing them back but i think in general this collection did sell well for them so that's really all the sneak peeks that i've seen i haven't really seen what else is going to be here for the sale i mean usually they have candles that come back for the sale as well but I don't know if we just don't have the info yet maybe it's going to be like a fun surprise when we get to the store on semi-annual sale day or maybe it really is just going to be like the most boring semi-annual sale ever I am not sure what is going on <laughs> I just I don't know I feel like I'm just not excited about the scents I'm just not excited in general I do have a store though that I know has some old candles because when I went there for candle day I was like oh my gosh these are totally going to be 75% off on a semi-annual sale so I'm kind of excited to check that store out and at least I know they'll have some good candles there but what is your thoughts on this year's semi-annual sale? Have you guys heard of anything else exciting coming? Because for real, I just don't know if I'm going to be really shopping that much for the sale. I mean, you know I'm going to have a video, but maybe it's only going to be a shop with me. I don't even know if I'm going to have a haul. I don't know. We'll see. Like, the only scent I really absolutely fell in love with this year was the Ice Lemon Pound Cake. So, that one's an online exclusive, so I don't even know if that would even be in stores. And it was already at the summer sale, so I don't even know if it would be at the winter sale. But if you're wondering kind of what scents I'm really loving this year from Bath & Body Works, um, check out my body care sale video because I kind of talked about my favorites from the year for Bath & Body Works and what I recommend picking up for a body care and I also have a candle one as well. That's kind of all I wanted to say for semi-annual sale. Let me know if you have any other questions down below that I forgot to cover because I know it's kind of a lot of information at once but on Tessa's blog she also started posting some spring sneak peeks so I just kind of wanted to go over these as well and just kind of talk about the upcoming scents that she has sneak peeked for their first spring collection because they do start spring in January which I know is nuts. They already start releasing tropical sense but yeah after Christmas the next thing is spring for them so here is what we are getting it looks like we have some new aromatherapy coming inspire love this is a repackage of the rose and vanilla which I know a lot of people really enjoy this fragrance this one is really heavy on the rose for me so it's not really one that I gravitate towards I really don't buy a lot of the aromatherapy but occasionally they'll have a couple scents that I fall in love with we also have Calm Haven. This is Lavender and Iris. There's two more that are kind of more blurry that I can't really read exactly what the scent description is, but it says we're getting a Himalayan Oasis and also a Rainfall Retreat, which seems like it's going to be more of that like fresh and clean kind of vibe. So that's a new aromatherapy collection coming. I did see even more body care though, so I just wanted to quickly go over these and get excited because I'm a little excited for this, but they have their Valentine's Day collection, which includes two scents, including a strawberry pound cake. I'm glad to see this one back. It's just a classic gourmand from Bath & Body Works that smells literally like strawberry cheesecake to me. It is so good, and it does have new packaging for Valentine's Day. And then we also have this new Sweetheart Cherry, which I'm so curious as to what this is going to be like, because this, honestly, it could be gourmand, or it could be more of a fresh cherry. Now, I know they did a chocolate cherry one a couple years ago, and it was okay for me. I feel like it had a weird kind of chemical smell on me. It didn't really go with my body chemistry, so I don't know if this is going to be that repackaged. It very well could be for Valentine's Day, but I'm hoping it's a little different. I'm hoping maybe like a super sweet cherry and almond, kind of like a Tom Ford lost cherry vibe. I would be down for that. And then they also have peach Bellini that is coming out in body care. Wasn't this in the sneak peeks that I mentioned a couple months ago with a bunch of scents that never came out, like the toasted pistachio one? 
I feel like this was in there, but Peach Bellini is getting body care, and I'm kind of excited for this. Uh, I know Bath & Byers has done some peach scents in the past, and Peach Bellini is definitely more of your sparkling peach kind of cocktail. So I feel like this actually could be really, really pretty on the skin. I'm excited for that one. We also are getting Rose Repackaged, if you guys like just your classic floral rose scent, and then a new scent called Calypso Clementine. So... They're going very fruity fresh again. I still haven't seen very many what I think could be gourmand besides the cherry and strawberry pound cake, of course, but that's a repackage. So I don't know. I'm kind of missing the days of when they used to do a bake shop collection every spring. Like, why did we stop? Why did we stop doing that? Was it not selling? Maybe it's just we are a small group that really likes the gourmands. Maybe they really don't sell as well as we thought. I've heard rumors that they're trying to go for a more older audience or something like that or they're trying to bring in more of the older crowd that don't want to smell really sweet because they kind of put that with juvenile or whatever but I don't know. I think you can wear dessert scents at any age. So I'm a little iffy on where Bath & Byers is going even in 2024 here. Uh, we do have a resort collection coming as well and they're going to have a few new scents here. We have Sea Salt Coast. I'm excited because this isn't like tropical tropical. I don't really care for the super fruity tropical scents but this seems more like expensive resort like bougie. I'm, I'm curious to see what this is going to be like. So yeah the Sea Salt Coast. I know so many people love clean scents these days. Also Water Lily Springs. This has really pretty kind of water like packaging. Now for candles I know there's been talks of a wedding collection and I don't know if maybe that was the one that's coming for semi annual sale or if this is for spring but I've heard some rumors about a wedding collection from Bath and Body Works for candles, but they also have some other kind of sneak peeks that we have. I haven't seen anything really exciting, but I would say the most exciting candles that I've seen coming for spring is Almond Croissant. I love a good almond scent, so I am all about this. This sounds delicious. Wildberry Jam Donut is coming back. That is such a good candle. It smells just like a berry pie. It is so delicious. Mahogany Vanilla. They have a candle called Book Loft, which I think could be fun because I know like a lot of people are into books these days, like book talk is huge. I myself have even gotten into books, so I think that's a cute name. Um, as long as it doesn't smell like an old library or something. They have a spring clothesline candle coming out. Seems like maybe just a fresh kind of laundry scent. Fresh Amalfi lemon, there's a Prosecco and peaches, which sounds good. Sweet red mango, fresh sheets is coming back. They have like a fun floral greenhouse botanical collection with some floral scents. This blooming greenhouse icons kind of looks fun. They're going to have a hummingbird tea cake. I feel like that's a type of cake, but it sounds good. <laughs> like I don't, I've never had this type of cake. So let me know what you guys think it smells like or what does it taste like because I'm very curious. And then a backyard honeysuckle. Hmm. That could be really good. That's kind of the sneak peeks that I have seen so far. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you excited for the new year of Bath & Body Works scents? I'm kind of sad because I feel like I just, I used to get very excited about Bath & Body Works. I still love filming these videos, trying out the scents, but it's hard to get excited when you don't really have a scent that just like really piques your interest or you don't have a favorite of the collection. I feel like I've just decluttered so many scents that came out this year that I had reviewed and I'm missing the old days right now. So hopefully we get some really good ones. I'm so curious about this upcoming cherry scent from them. I hope they really do a good job with that one. And we'll see. We'll see what I pick up for some annual sale this year. Let me know if you guys want to see the shop with me as well so we can go over some prices. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. I do plan on sharing some of my favorite fragrances of the year in the next week or two. And I'm also going to be sharing some of your favorite fragrances of the year as well, which will be so much fun. But I'm going to let you guys go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.